Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install the native mod loader in Baldur's Gate 3. So this is required for a lot of mods to work properly, and I want to take you through the whole guide and how to do this. It's pretty straightforward, but we're going to go to Nexus Mods, and it's mods slash 944. You can find this by searching it up as well. We do have to manually download it and have the ability to read as it says there, so... Slow download as we don't have the pro account here. And I'm just going to take you through the way to do this all the way through. So we got it downloaded there. And uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to go into our trusty file folder here. We're going to extract this here. So that's important. Don't forget about that. Now there's going to be a bin file here. There's two files that we're going to be working with. So we're going to go into our PC here. So whatever drive you have Baldur's Gate 3 downloaded on, we got it in the Windows file here. We're gonna go to program files 86, scroll down till you find the Steam section here. Scroll down again till you get to Steam apps. So we're gonna go into there and then common and then Baldur's Gate 3. And as you can see, we got a bin file here too. So there's gonna be a bunch of files in there. We got some files as well. We're gonna copy these and take them on over. Now it's gonna ask if we wanna replace the files in the destination and we want to do that. So make sure that you do copy them over and replace them. And then we're just gonna do straight that. That's gonna copy over the native mod loader. And then that's gonna allow us to be able to use some of the native mods. So it's actually pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna go run through this again. Program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Baldur's Gate 3, bin, drag and drop and replace. So. That is how you get the native mod loader in Baldur's Gate 3. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I try to get to the comments as quickly as possible to help out. And if you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below. And I'll see you all in the next video.